Darnot. Last week, I was captured by Zorgon the Malevolent, the most vicious Gorgon space pirate and half-brother to the High Gorgon himself. What have you got to say for yourselves? We give up. Throw these people in the prison chamber. Uh, you got to stop those walls. Will you tell me where it is? What is it? Right now, Quark, where is it? Stop it. Turn off your wall. It is on Asteroid Rumbar. We arrive at Asteroid Rumbar in six hours. Zorgon wants me with him when we land. When he sees I've been bluffing, I'll be killed. Ready, Commander. OK, let her go. Gene, Andy, get back to the ship. Contact Palindrome. Tell him we've been captured by Zorgon and we need his help. Sorry, miss. What you have to do is get Empress Libido to leave a gamma gun for me under Zorgon's throne. After a while, Libido will start repeating your name over and over. Her breathing will become irregular. When all this happens, you ask her for the gamma gun. When all this happens, shouldn't I call a doctor? Libido, this is where we're going to have a problem. You see, where I come from, we don't kiss, we pollinate. Pollinate? <laughs> Here. What are you doing? We were pollinating, sir. Pollen! A vegeton! <laughs> Professor Markov. We've all been looking forward to your speech on the care and operation of it. Ah, ah yes, of course, my speech. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Quark. It's here! It is? All the galaxy will cower at my feet. The Gorgons will rule over all the planets. We will destroy the head and perma one and replace them with the rule of the high Gorgon. And Quark, it's all because of you. Daddy, Daddy. There, Quark. It's really there. You were right. That's impossible. I, I don't even know what it is. Did well, Quark. Then stop those walls! Oh, all right. Perma One has obviously told you about the legend. What legend? Well, now it's my turn to thank you, as only Zorgon the Malevolent knows how. Bartel, are there any Lizagoths on this asteroid? Yes, Your Highness. Very well. Then take Quark and the Bettys out and feed them to a Lizagoth. Oh, no, no. Come, come on. Now, wait a minute. What about our agreement? I, I took you to it. You even told me I did well. You did? I'm very grateful to you. That's why I'm being so lenient. Lenient? You're feeding me to a Lizagoth. I hate to see your idea of strict. Freeze. All right, turn off the laser. Throw the gun in the corner. Unlock him. Oh, I've never done anything like this before. Only you could drive me to such desperate ends. Oh, tell me it was worth it, Pandorata. Tell me you love me. Lovido, and I think you'll find this interesting. As a vegetan, not only am I incapable of love, I'm not even grateful for you rescuing me. Oh, promise me you'll never change, Pandorata. It is not in my nature to change. Except, of course, with the seasons. Ah, uh, against the wall. Marry me, Pandorata. You and I will be one. Levito, your mathematical ability is negligible. You and I would be two, not one. Marry me, Pandorata. That is impossible. OK, we'll live together first. Levito, I must rescue my commander. I will need your gun. Oh, no, uh-oh. Can't have it. Levito, it is my opinion you will not use that gun. <coughs> Levito, I have revised my opinion. Marry me, and I'll give you the gun. If that is what I must do to rescue my commander, I will make such a sacrifice. And we will live happily ever after? You will live happily ever after. I will just live. Once you have it, what you got to do with it is you, you got to heat it. If they buy that, sell them land. I, I'm sorry, Professor. I, I fail to see what effect that could possibly have. What effect? What effect? The man is talking to me about effect. I'll tell you what effect it would have. Once you heat it, it will become hot. Of course. How stupid of me. Would anyone like, would anyone like to buy some land? Uh, well, uh, my, my nurse and I are feeling a little, uh, little parched, so uh, we're going to start up again in about an hour.
Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Come in. Don't look back. Keep moving. You were a bomb. Isn't this a beautiful spot, Adam? It's so calm and pretty. It's like a picture book. But I would be alone. I don't think we're alone. Can't you talk to him, Adam? He's not here to chat. He's here to eat. Do something. Do something. What can I do? Are you mad, Miss Adam? Don't be mad. If I thought you were mad, I'd die. I loved you from the first time. You said, Betty, pick up the garbage. What are you two doing? Will somebody tell me? Look out! I am the Baron. The Baron? I am the Baron of the Forest People. Star Note. Of course. Who else saves you from being eaten by a Lizagoth but the Baron of the Forest People? I sense danger. <laughs> Come. We'll talk more at my camp. These woods are not safe. Not to mention the wildlife. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to rest. You're tired? You're a machine! I'm a tired machine. I don't believe this. Believe it. It's been a long day. Gorgons, let's jump them. Jean, Gorgons are people just like you and me. Gorgons are people. Andy, that's sick. Now let's jump them. I don't want to jump. I'm the commander now. I order you to jump. Now let's jump them. I will not jump. They're almost here. Let's jump. Now. Why did you do that? Being chained to you threatens my life expectancy. Andy, what's wrong with you? Have you got a few moments? I don't know where to begin. Sir, the transmute and the robot have escaped from the ship, but security expects to have them back in custody shortly. Very good. When they get them back, have the security people eliminated. Yes, sir. Oh, and according to our calculations, the legend should come true tonight. Wonderful. You're looking at a fulfilled emperor, Bartell. <laughs> Libido! What is the meaning of this? Don't push it, Dad. <laughs> Would you defy your father? Oh, I've never met a plant like him. I see. Do you love her? No, sir, I do not. What? Oh, but that, that's just his way. Pandorat is free of emotions, guilt, and things just don't bother him. He's the most nowhere man I've ever met. Does it bother you to learn that Quark has been eaten by Elizabeth? Although I respect him deeply, I do not feel what you animals might call anguish or despair. Hmm. Does it bother you that the Bettys have been eaten by Elizabeth? Not at all. <laughs> he seems to have a pretty good head on his shoulders, eh, Bartell? Yes, sir. It's nice to see there's still some sense of decency left in the world. <laughs> Daddy! Does that mean that I can have him? I never could deny you anything, Libido. Oh, and you will still marry me? I gave my word, and I will keep it. I will give Libido exactly the care she deserves. Call him Dad. Don't call me Dad. <laughs> Good beef, huh, Betty? Oh, yes, Baron of the Force people. Baron, Zorgon spoke about a legend. What do you know about it? Nothing, except that whatever it is, it's very popular around here. You are an enemy of Zorgons. The man was feeding me to a Lizagoth. I'd hardly call that a friendly act. My ancestors are not from the asteroid Rumba. For centuries, they lived an idyllic life on the planet Poo, Poo. Whenever they were threatened or oppressed, it would always protect them. They would proceed to wherever the equinox fast approaches the constellation Lupe and lines up with the lights of Delore within the orbit of our beloved Poo. That's really some legend, Baron. Then Zorgon was born. There's more? Just as we were about to discover our miraculous ancestral legend that would make us impervious to our enemies, as luck would have it, Zorgon has showed up. Baron, it wasn't luck that brought Zorgon here. I'm afraid it was me. He thought I was an undercover agent for Perma-1. You? But why? It was an accident. I just got in the middle of this. I don't know why. I'm a stranger. The stranger. <laughs> and a miracle will lead the stranger to it. And with it, the stranger will defeat our oppressors. And Quark, you are that stranger. <laughs> Star note, this has been a very unusual day. According to our galactic computer, the miracle should begin soon. Send an expedition and have them bring it to me. Soon it will be mine. It will all be mine. Commander! Gene! 
Thanks, my furry little forest friend. I'll never forget you. Gene, this is the Baron. Baron, you and your people are making these woods a lot safer place for all of us. Thank you, Gene. Gene, did you get word through to Perma-1? Nah, the halls were filled with Gorgies. Me and Andy were lucky enough to make it off the ship. Do you hate Gorgons? <clears throat> Where's Andy? He's hiding back by Zorgon's ship, pretending he's a nurse. Hey, what do you think of this new gamble? It's kind of neat, huh? What is that? The miracle. Oh! Those beams of light will lead us to it. Hurry. We must beat the Gorgons. What's the plan, Adam? I got a plan. What is it, Jane? No Gorgie's gonna beat me to it. Jane! Jane! I thought we were gonna discuss the plan. You just don't go do a plan. You talk about it first. Star note. Maybe I am the stranger. The miracle led us through the night. As the dawn breaks, we are very near our destination. I have never wanted anything as much as it. This must be it. Open it, Adam. Open it. So, it is a stone. <laughs> That goes very nice with your outfit, Commander. <laughs> According to the legends, you are invincible. And the invincible stranger will defeat the oppressors of the forest people, namely, Sorgon. <laughs> Steiner. I am invincible! Dad, Dad, I need some advice. Ah, Quark again, huh? Yeah, he's, uh, disappeared. Disappeared? Dad, the head has suspended me. What can I do? You must go back, look the head right in the eye, and do what palindromes have done for hundreds of years. Beg. <laughs> Beg? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Adam, I'm worried about you. Please take Gene's gun. Oh, but Betty, that isn't fair. The commander's got the stone. Adam, take the gun. Betty, some power greater than us has brought me to Asteroid Rumbar. Certainly, you cannot deny the miracle. I am the stranger. I am invincible. Door open. What is it, Bartel? Quark is alive, and he has it. No, I must have it. Sir, I've analyzed the stone over my M2V scanner. It's completely worthless. Maybe it is not good with doors. Door open. After all these years, after all my efforts? Well, of course, I didn't want the stone for its powers. Of course not, sir. I wanted it for its beauty, to put in my collection, for my sensitive side. <laughs> but so all is not totally wasted, let Quark in. We'll destroy him and gain that beautiful stone. It's the artist in me. Star note. My life is riding on a rock from the planet Poopoo. -poo. <laughs> Jane, give me the gun. But you're invincible. Invincible? I can't even get the door open. Door, I order you to open. Jump in space, Bex! Oh, I see. You just have to be firm with it. Commander, can I wear that stone? No, Jane. You can have the gun. Don't make a move. He's going to take his hand away from your mouth, and you're going to tell me very quietly where I can find the Vegeton who goes by the name of Ficus Pandorata. Do you understand? All right, talk. He's with the Empress Libido in her private chambers. Thanks, Gorgi. I, I wasn't through questioning him. We don't know where Libido's chambers are. Oh. Well, he'll come around in about an hour. <laughs> Baron, do you hate the Gorgons? Gene. You're a good man, Baron. You're a good man. Star note. Gene is not the kind of person you'd want to be with on a planet with a lot of moons. <laughs> Door open. You're going back to your maker, Quark. Door closed. <laughs>
Ah, so the legend is true. You didn't know? There were some uh, gray areas. So the stone has no powers, eh? Sir, I swear it's completely worthless. The disintegration ray must have reflected off the stone, or Quark would be dead. Come on, we gotta get Zorgon. First, we have to make sure Ficus is all right. Don't worry, my furry little forest friend. We'll take care of Zorgon. Furry little forest friend? <laughs> Who are Quark here? The cycloid will take care of him. And you enjoy the cycloid so much more than the disintegration ray. The stone has no power. For your sake, I hope so. I'm not always such a loose guy, Bartell. Baron, this might be dangerous. If you want to return to your people, I'll understand. Good idea. Thank you, Quirk. <laughs> Where are the Empress Levito's chambers? I will never tell. Jean, tell this man why you were thrown out of the Youth Academy. Because every time I had to draw pictures, I drew Gorgons and their bodies didn't have any heads, and I did them in purple. Princess Libido is through that door. Now, Jean. Betty's, get back to the ship and see if you can get it free. Yes, sir. Jean, find Andy and get back to the ship. Commander, that isn't fair. Whenever someone has to face danger and death, you always get to do it yourself. I'm invincible, Jean. You'd only be in the way. Now, get back to the ship. If I'm not back in an hour, take off without me. That's an order. What are you doing here? Oh, I thought I'd use my own judgment, Commander. Jean, listen to me carefully. Never, ever use your own judgment around me. Is that clear? See you, Skipper. What are you doing? Oh, uh, we were pollinating. Don't you believe in knocking? Pollinating? Pollinating. I'm sorry I asked. Well, Commander, it would appear that you have not, in fact, been eaten by a lizagoth. The Baron saved me. The Baron. Don't ask. I've been through a lot. Not to mention this stone, which makes me invincible. Let's go. The Commander, as much as I would like to go with you, I'm afraid I cannot. Cannot? <laughs> Pandorata and I are going to be married. Uh, Ficus, is uh, this another one of your strange little vegetable jokes? No, sir. You see, I sacrificed myself in order to achieve your escape. To a Vegeton, honor is everything. I must stay. Well, I don't like it. But I must respect your integrity as a Vegeton. I guess this is goodbye. Bye. <laughs> After all these years, uh, what can I say? You can say anything you want to say, Commander. Ficus, I know. I mean, what do I want to say? I... You're asking me what you want to say? Oh, Ficus. Is this a warm moment, Commander? Yes, Ficus. Yes. Good. You like them. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Commander, about that stone making you invincible, I don't believe it. I've seen it work, Ficus. I'm arresting you in the name of the United Galaxy. We'll see about that, Quark. Why don't you save us all a lot of trouble and hand yourself in? I know you're listening. You can't win, Zorgon. Not only do I know what it is, but I know where it is and how to use it. Okay, if I have to, I'll rip down every wall on this ship. Release the cycloid. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Look, uh, I don't want to harm you. I know you're probably the victim of a weak economy. I, uh, I don't know what kind of a home you come from, but go back to it. Be with your children. Till your feelings. Hey! That hurt. How can that be? I'm invincible. Stone. Hey, don't 
don't you know about the legend? Uh, the, 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 the loopy constellation, you know that one, don't you? The stone. Remember the stone? Remember a long time ago, you know, there was a stone to put a little box. Remember that? Um, everybody knows about the Baron. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that Vegetan would be trouble. Give me your mesa. Why is this happening? Because, sir, it, the stone, has no power at all. But I opened, I opened the door. A disintegrating ray bounced off me, and a Gorgon disappeared. The door could have been open. The laser blast could have been reflected by the stone. I wasn't invincible? No, sir. This particular stone is so dense it would reflect a disintegration ray. Then what was I doing telling this thing to till its fields? I could have been killed. That's correct, sir. But you weren't. What got you through was your belief in the worthless stone. You mean the power of it is within every one of us? You've meddled for the last time, Flint! No, no, no! Lupino! What have I done? It would appear that you've frozen her. I think he knew that, Figus. Are you all right? The laser didn't hit me, sir. No, I mean about libido. It seemed in your own way you were quite fond of her. Sir, being a realist, I am quite confident that this won't affect our relationship at all. No, probably won't. <laughs> Let's go, Zorgon. You're going to prison for a long time. Oh, what have I done to my poor libido? You know, medicine today is doing remarkable work with the frozen. We'll take libido back to Perma-1 with us, and in five or six years, she'll be back to normal. As good as new, Dad. Uh, excuse me, Dink. Uh, sir, I hope I'm not interrupting. I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop in. Oh, please, sir, I beg of you. I don't want to be suspended. My stomach is always woozy. People look at me with strange glints in their eye. A quasi-norm called me a loser. Palindrome, this is Quark. Sir, it's Quark. He's back. I found him. Should I handle this in my usual efficient manner, sir? Yes, Palindrome. Your suspension is over. I shall expect to see a marked improvement in your work. The galaxy ad infinitum. No, you will, sir. Power's you wrong. will. This is long distance. Quark, where have you been? I've captured Zorgon the Malevolent. Well, you could have called first. The Velcro has to be cleaned up. The head is very upset. You almost cost me my job. Don't you want to hear the story? Yes, I'm sure it's great. I'll listen to it as soon as you cleaned up the Velcro. No, oh. <laughs> Quark, excuse me. Well, you got to put in a call to my father. You know how he likes you. Palindrome! Palindrome! Ah, uh, Quark, please, have a little dignity. Don't beg. Do you want to hear the story? Actually, it's quite interesting. You see, Dink, it isn't every day I become a legend. I was on this seemingly routine garbage run, you know, just picking up trash. Had the little claws out, getting some of the space baggage, you know. <laughs>